Now here we're going to get to some of the most important tools in Tinkercad, the group and the whole function, along with how to change colors. So let's make a pickup truck. We'll start with a box, make it longer. That can be the body, the front, and back. Here comes the cab of the truck. Put it right about there. Make that a little bit taller. Now obviously this pickup truck is pretty narrow at this point. And just eyeballing it will make it a little longer. There's one little feature everyone likes to see, the radius function of the boxes here softens the corners. So if I make the radius here 2, for example, and I make the radius 2 on this one, now our pickup has some softer corners to it. You can already see it coming a little bit. Now if we want to put a wheel on the side here, if we don't know anything else and we just put a cylinder here, that's obviously going to look kind of goofy. Okay, That's not how vehicles work. What we need in this truck is a hole. <clears throat> I'm going to get this wheel well kind of where it belongs in the right size. But I'm going to change the cylinder from a solid into a hole. And what that's going to do is it's going to erase or subtract the material that was there. So now there is a cylinder shaped hole in that, the side of this little pickup. If I copy and paste it, I can put a similarly sized hole up front. And I will need two more on this side. Bring the work plane in, cylinder, check the size of this one, 17 by 17, 17, 17, pull it down, change it into a hole, and we're going to lower it in. The four holes that I just placed are where the wheels end up going in here. Well, before we put the wheels in, we kind of want to get rid of these holes sticking out all over the place. How do we make it so the holes are just holes instead of these shadows of a cylinder? If we drag and select everything, there's a button. This button, which is a square merged with a circle, is the group button. When you click it, it turns everything that you have selected into one piece. So now what we have is the truck with the four wheel wells. And inside of here, we could place a wheel, for example. Now I put the work plane in the bottom of the wheel well, put the wheel halfway in, shrink it down. That would be one way to put a wheel in that truck. If I want to put a bed in this truck, obviously, we just put the work plane on top. We could grab a box in, or there is this box up here that's already a hole shape. We're going to drop it down in and pull it back. So now the pickup cab has a box. Now if I want to group all of that,
will see the box. The two holes that I have have actually met there. And if you've ever seen a real pickup truck, there's a, a bump on the inside of the box right here to cover up this, this place where the wheel needs to be. So we can spend time fixing it. Or, well, since we grouped everything, and let's say we're, we're making a pickup, but it's not the only thing we want to do. So if we make this pickup and we end up having the wheels being the same color as the truck, it looks a little funny. If we want these wheels to be black, we're going to ungroup it. The ungroup button is here. If you click on it, you click on the color above solid. You can select black. But there's no way for us to group this such that the pickup and the truck tire are the, the colors that they are now. If I hit group, a lot of kids are disappointed when everything changes colors. Well, under color here, you can click multicolor, and then it reverts back. These are still grouped together. They still move as one piece, or you could resize them all at once but they still retain their, their colors that they have. This is great if kids are making something that they're going to be showing pictures of. Now let me really quickly try to get three more wheels in their correct spots. So we need to ungroup what we have. I will copy and paste. That will get this wheel in the correct spot pretty easily. Then over here, if I copy and paste again, this wheel needs to be brought out with the cone and adjusted. This wheel brought up here. Now this truck. There's a lot of details we could still add, and as we practice, we get better and better ideas for how to do that. For example, if I want to put headlights on it, what we could do is use these paraboloid shapes, but instead of leaving them just shooting out the front, you could use them as a whole shape and maybe put something on the inside. I think I might just leave this one the way it is. Put two of them up in the front. A kid could add gr a grill many, many different ways. You can start adding stuff on the side. Now, if you want to add your name or a word on the side, we don't need to just have the text sticking out. If you are going to 3D print something like this, the text sticking out the side, it's really fragile, tough, difficult to deal with. What's better, if you take that text, if you turn it into a hole, and you drop it into the side just a little bit, now that word will be a part of it, but it will still be smooth to touch on the outside. It won't have jagged letters to, to deal with. So here is our truck. If we click and group it all together, I wish it was still red. I'm going to go with multicolor. What we have is a truck with the word truck in the side, a bed four wheels, something we can work with. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Try making some holes, either from existing shapes. Any shape that you bring in can be changed from a solid into a hole. You can try scribbles, you can try text. Try grouping whatever it is you are making by highlighting 
two or more shapes. When you highlight shapes, then the group button becomes an option. And when you are done combining things, you can still edit the color of whatever it is you're working on. So give it a try.